I want to talk about receiving. More people struggle with receiving than you probably even realize. As a life and business coach, I understand that the numbers are pretty high of receiving being this difficult thing. Now, I didn't always realize that or have that awareness, especially in my own life. But what brought it to the surface and the forefront was when I realized how much I was operating in my masculine energy. And I realized that after my uh, marriage and I had gotten in a space where I didn't feel as supported, um, asking for help, felt uncomfortable. I was a single mom, all the things. And providing is a very masculine thing. So we all have different ways that we provide for different people, parenting even is it's masculine so we all have masculine and feminine energy i'm gonna say that again we all have masculine and feminine energy personally for me operating in the space of a life partner relationship marriage i function very well in more of a traditional role where my partner operates more in his masculine and i operate more in my feminine but that had switched in turn. And so I really realized that when I began to just kind of look back on my past from a space of awareness, just reflecting so that I could pick up keys and clues that I needed for my next. And I realized that it had even rolled over into my business because when you struggle to receive you you often carry like this energy like you're lacking something and lack is an energy in itself and i'm going to talk about that in a moment uh reasons why people may struggle to receive but whatever is transpiring in one area of your life easily rolls over into another area of your life and so you could be struggling to receive love or to receive friendship help it's different ways of receiving but it's all in energy and so i just when i was thinking back i was like man i was charging lower prices and it's just so many things that transpire and that comes from lack like we feel we're lacking something tying into what i was sharing before but today i want to talk about some reasons why people struggle to receive now this can be a really high earner who struggles to receive and so the way that they do their work you know over exerting themselves overdoing things that's that doing part i mentioned before oftentimes there is a struggle to receive now this is something i've had to do inner work on so that i could receive at a different level because my goal was more freedom right and to be able to give more value and receive more money instead of giving more of my time and receiving more money and so it was some inner work that that i had to do but here are some reasons why people struggle to receive. Uh, number one, and these are not in any particular order. Sometimes receiving makes people feel incompetent, especially as it relates to receiving help. Like they don't want to receive help because it makes them feel um, incompetent. Also feelings of unworthiness. People feel they're not worthy to receive, especially when we're talking about from an entrepreneurial space or even in your corporate job, it may be you knowing that you deserve a promotion and struggling to ask for it. It's different ways of receiving that people may not feel worthy, although in their mind, they know they're doing a lot of work, right? And so not feeling worthy can be a reason for not being comfortable receiving people even struggle to receive compliments um, cultural training also impacts 
our ability to receive. Sometimes culturally, we've been taught that it is a weakness to receive from others or to ask for help. But abundance is, if you can imagine this wheel, this full circle that continues to go of giving and receiving, giving and receiving, giving and receiving, giving and receiving. And most people leave the receiving part out. And if they have not done inner work, the receiving that they do require can be without giving any value. That's for another time and space, but also cultural training, as I was sharing before. Religion. Now, that's a big one. Right there, there's this thing sometimes in religious spaces that consider you selfish to receive at a high level. It's you know weird that we've come to that space of thought about receiving. We're interconnected and everything works from a space of community and giving and receiving. It's how the world goes round, actually. And we are in our healthiest space when we're not only able to receive, but also able to give, and not only able to give, but also able to receive. And this is something that I work on with many of my clients who are very ambitious, right? And so they're used to going hard. And there is work involved, whether you're manifesting or stepping into your next level, whatever it is. But at a certain level, there's just not enough hours in the day. You don't have enough manpower to receive what you're supposed to have at the next level. And when people struggle with this, they struggle to even believe that it is possible. And so that's four reasons why people sometimes can struggle to receive and Listen, I've had to do inner work on that. You know, receiving for me was very natural at one space and time in my life. And then I hit a season where it wasn't anymore. And so I had to really do inner work in order to receive at new levels. I was used to, number one, trading my time for dollars. And then I shared, you know, a circumstance where, you know, I lacked the support that I needed. I felt like asking for help was an issue. And so subconsciously, I began to think that it was wrong. And so I've had to do inner work and every every new you know, level that I desire to go or bigger desire that I have, I have to go and do inner work because we all have limiting beliefs. We all have these beliefs in our subconscious programming that are keeping us from our next level. And this is the work I get to do with my clients. I absolutely love it. I love seeing them step into new spaces of awareness, new spaces of abundance. You know, one thing just came to my mind of a client messaging me and saying, I don't know what's transpiring, but you know, money is just coming to me. And it's not that the money wasn't available before, but oftentimes when we're operating in a space of limiting belief, we can see it. Our energy is not there to even receive it, right? Whether it's because of feelings of unworthiness or thinking we'll be perceived as incompetent because we're receiving help. Um, Whether it's cultural training or religious aspects, a lot of times there is a limiting belief that is keeping us from receiving at the next level we're going to be working on that very thing inside the She Prospers Mastermind, which is open for enrollment again. It is the last time that I will be opening enrollment for the She Prospers 30 Day Mastermind for 2024. And so if you've been watching me a couple years and, you know, nothing's changed, right? And you're wondering like, what is this stuck place? there's probably a limiting belief and i'd love to support you in uncovering that and retraining that subconscious programming or maybe you're in transition and you're doing something different and you just want to access a new level um, with much more ease Um, you got to join us there are three ways to join Um, if you have that abundant energy you can do the one-time fee there's a two-time to pay option, an easy to pay option. And then I believe there's a three pay option as well. 
but receiving it is part of it and you getting in the space of understanding that you're worthy of receiving at the next level is huge you know i share with you that you know i've had to do a lot of inner work just in that space alone uh, because of some things that have been programmed in my subconscious programming and for every new level that i desire there's some limiting belief holding me back where i need to do inner work on so i invite you i'd love to support you i love that i get to do this work um especially with women i work with men as well and i enjoy all of the clients that i get an opportunity to support but especially with women because i am a woman right i've been through those phases of being a new mom and, and giving birth and getting married and um also unfortunately divorce um single motherhood empty nesting all the things so i'm a woman and i know that those transitional times oftentimes there are limiting beliefs that keep us from really creating the lifestyle that we really love so that's my take on receiving know that you are worthy you're not incompetent when you need help and sometimes the cultural training that traditional stuff you got to take a look at it to see if it supports who you are now and who you desire to to become and you know we're about relationship with god not religion and so we know that he desires that you prosper and be in health peace and abundance